Hey everybody, in this episode we're going to continue working on our SDK. We're going to create a function to get a book by its title. So here's what it's going to look like. def get underscore book by title. And this is going to take a string title. And ultimately we want to return a book object. So we're going to get a reference to the cursor, like so. And then we say with c.connection, c.execute, and the SQL is gonna look like this. Select star from books. Then we're gonna say where, and that's because we don't wanna grab all the books like we did here. We want to specify the title, and we don't just want to do this. We don't want to say plus title. Anytime we're doing like string concatenation with parameters and building an SQL statement, this risks us for SQL injections. So the proper way to do this is to actually put a question mark here and then put title inside of a tuple with a comma right after the title, which is the syntax to do that. So that's a little funky, but it does the trick. And then afterwards, we're just going to return c.fetch1. So that's gonna return a tuple, but we'll just see if it's working first off. And we're going to invoke it over here. So we'll say print books SDK dot get book by title. And I'm gonna pass in the only book in there, are you my mother? And we'll see what we get. So running this, and we do in fact get an extra tuple down here at the bottom. So it seems to be working, which is awesome. But what I wanna do is actually wanna convert it to a book object. Cause I wanna be working with objects when we're working with this SDK and not always have to deal with objects and then tuples and so forth. So instead of this return here, we could just store this data. And what you could do is you could check to see if there's anything in there. So if not data, we'll just return none like so. Otherwise, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to create a book. So we'll say return book, pass in data index zero, and data index one, which will be the title and the pages. This matches the initializer for the book class, which takes the title and pages. All right, let's try it now. Let's go to, back to our calling code and run this. And now we are getting a book object. You could work with it like so, you could assign it to a book variable, and then we could say print type of book, and it'll show you that it is in fact a book. Now there's one thing I want to change in our code. Inside of our SDK, the with here will automatically commit code, so for example when we're adding a book, but it actually doesn't automatically close the connection. So if you wanna close the connection, just go c.connection.close, where c is the cursor object coming from this here. So I'm gonna do that for all these. We'll just say c.connection.close, and then c.connection.close. All right, so right now we have the option to add a book, get a book, and get a book by title. I think some pretty cool options that you could do would be to update a book. So you pass in probably three arguments. The first one being a book object to update, and then a new title and possibly a new pages. Then you could also delete a book. You could do it by object or you could do it by title, whatever you want. This is totally fully customizable. I have some examples of how to do that up on my GitHub, but I think that's good for SDK right now. We might add more as we go. Next up, I wanna use our SDK because we're going to actually create a first a console application, then a graphical user interface. Oh yeah, working with these books. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Wow, I said that's so boring. A whole lot of fun. It's gonna be so much fun, guys. See you then, how about that?